Next order of business is my report. I, I really don't have much uh, tonight other than to uh, ask everyone to keep Miss Harris in your thoughts as she has goes through back surgery and her recuperation period. Councilperson Persinger, it's good to see you out and about and around after your knee surgery. Thank you, sir. Seem to be recuperating very well. Slow. Slow. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Councilperson Mays, it's good to have you here with us tonight. Glad to see you moving under your own speed tonight. So, yeah. um, glad to have you. Um, and just <laughs> as Pastor Hank said, Keep everybody in town that you know of that's under the weather or suffering in your thoughts and prayers. Um, I want to thank Wendy and the uh, fire department for allowing us to use their facilities uh, for a very nice uh, Christmas dinner. Wendy did a lot of work for that. Um, sometimes she gets shortchanged because it's her dinner too, <clears throat> but she, she winds up going to get the food and and coordinating everything and, and taking care of it. Uh, and Wendy, I just want you to realize we appreciate that and your efforts don't go unnoticed. So thank you very much. Thank you. And then I want to thank, um, <clears throat> again, the fire department and more especially uh, Chris Fisher for the fabulous job they do on the Iron Gate Christmas Parade every year. <clears throat> the weather got a little bit ticklish for them this year and they made a, a split minute last minute decision if you will to back the parade up two hours and started at 11 instead of one worked out perfectly couldn't have been a better morning couldn't have been a better day and really couldn't have been a better parade so um on behalf of the town and the council i want to thank them for that and then the last thing that i have you know we've we've had some talk in the last few months about the water billing from Allegheny County uh, and that they had the, and I see Wendy had this under old business, so I'm just jumping the gun a little bit on that. Uh, they had the water meter calibrated in the gorge and they found out that it was very inaccurate and it was inaccurate to the favor of the town. So they've had the meter uh, repaired and the new readings are back up to where they should have been in, in all along. The, the issue with, with this is we've been advising Allegheny County ever since day one when the bills so drastically changed that their meters readings or their readings and their billing was not accurate. So, oh, uh, we're in negotiation with them right now. Uh, they want to build the town for the usage for 90 days. And, and, and we're, we're discussing this. We're in negotiations with them on that as we speak. And we'll keep you posted on that progress. Anything you want to add on that, Wendy? No, sir. Are there any other reports from any standing committees? I do have one for the Parks and Recs uh, Committee. Uh, in a couple of weeks, the River Park is going to be open for one day. Uh, Ronnie Atkins, who grew up here, passed away. I think it was in November, wasn't it, Wendy? Yes. And very unexpectedly. Ronnie was an outdoors kind of guy, spent a lot of his time at, at, on the river and outdoors here in town, and his sister reached out and wanted to know if we would allow them to use the river park to have a memorial service for him uh, one weekend. I think it's um, the weekend of the holiday. Yes, yeah, the weekend of the 15th. 15th. And, and I, I agree to that. I think that's an appropriate place for his memorial service to be. So if anybody says anything or questions why the River Park is open, it's going to be open for his memorial service. Okay. Under old business, I've already talked about the 220 master meter repair. Uh, we had a valve that was up on Iron Gate Hill that was leaking. We've been dealing with that for... Um, several months 
we finally got uh, everything together and everybody in place to have that repaired. Um, they did that the first week in December. Uh, so we should not have any more issues uh, with, with that valve. We had a little problem getting the water situated back in town because of all the air and things that got in it. But I think we've worked past that now and are on the right track. And then the other thing that we've had done this month that has been going on for quite some time is the 6th Street extension going up the hill behind where Huckabee's used to be, where uh, Walter and Bessie Rogers' uh, house is that Mr. and Miss Booz live in now has needed a lot of repair and a lot of work and council voted to award the contract I guess in October to Sean nicely contracting to make that repair and he was able to get that done um, the week before Christmas and I personally have not heard anything from the the renters or the homeowner uh, but I've been up and looked at it I think he did a, a really good job and he worked with them he met with them and had discussion on it so um, I think I think we can put that behind us and and, and get that done. Does it have any questions on any of these items that we discussed under old business? Members, uh, our employees have to have approval to carry over any unused vacation time into the new year. Now this is kind of a strange situation for us because it's usually junior that has several days vacation to carry over but uh i think he got all his in this year didn't he yeah, he's just lacking like a couple of hours so okay and thank you for that because you've been kind of coaching and yes. helping with that and so um you know wendy has one day that she's asking to carry over any questions or comments about that do I have a motion to allow Wendy to carry over her one day of vacation into the new year? And usually, I think when council has voted on this item in the past, they've put the stipulation on it that it has to be taken in the first quarter yeah. of the year. Do I have that motion? Make motion yeah. motion has been made by council person, Vice Mayor Richard Erskine to allow uh, town clerk Wendy Biggs to carry over one day of unused vacation from 2021 into 2022 uh, with the stipulation that it be used in the first quarter of 2022. Do I have a second? I second. Second of a council person nicely. Um, Ms. Persinger? Yes. Mr. Mays? Yes. Ms. Nicely? Yes. Ms. Pryor? Yes. Mr. Erskine? Yes. Thank you all. We'll come back to the adjustment. We have one request for an adjustment on utility billing. This is an adjustment on the sewer portion of the bill. They had a broken water line under the house. It has been repaired. They're asking for an adjustment or a credit of $85.62. Do I have a motion to uh, grant the adjustment as requested? I'll make that motion. The stipulation that's on the sewer side Yes. Mm -hmm. Motion has been made by Councilperson Vice Mayor Richard Erskine to grant the request for an adjustment uh, so long as it's only on the sore portion of the utility bill. Do I have a second? I'll second. Second by Councilperson Persinger. Ms. Persinger? Yes. Mr. Mays? Yes. Ms. Nicely? Yes. Ms. Pryor? Yes. Mr. Erskine? Yes. Okay. And then the last order of new business tonight is a discussion and vote on uh, moving the January work session as it falls on a holiday. It falls on the 17th, correct, Wendy? Yes. Which is Martin Luther King Day. And uh, the, the option would be you can either move it back a, a whole week to the 10th, or I think in the past, council has decided and just moved it over one night to the 18th. 
what would be the discussion and comments on when you want to have that? Do what we've been doing, move to the 18. All right. Do I have a motion to move the work session for January of 2022 from its regular scheduled date of January 17th to January 18th in honor of the Martin Luther King holiday on the 17th? I'll make that motion. Motion has been made by Councilperson Persinger to make that move. Second. <clears throat> Seconded by Councilperson Vice Mayor Richard Erskine. All those in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Any opposed? So the work session for January will be Tuesday, January the 18th at 7 o'clock. The council meeting will be Thursday, January 27th, 2022 at 7 o'clock. Is there any other new business to be discussed tonight? Hearing no other new business for discussion tonight, do I have a motion to adjourn this meeting? 